Now, part of the thing that we need to always consider is when we're planning, you always need to think about the contingencies. And when you think contingencies, think about the worst possible case scenario. And for me, you know, one, one of those contingencies, one of those worst cases would include losing access to or forgetting or being liberated of my baseline bug out kit. But because I have a system of caches in place and I've thought about that contingency and plan for that contingency, I have a solution for that as well. Uh, so another type of resupply that I want you to think about, another type of cache that you should consider is a complete alternate bug out bag. And granted, it's not going to be, and it's not always, I guess I shouldn't say not everybody can afford to purchase, you know, the top of the line gear, which I think you personally should purchase the best gear you can afford as long as it works, uh, especially when you're coming down to, you know, your life and the life of your family depends on what's on your back. Uh, I think it's really important to get really good durable gear. It may not be in your budget or in your plan to be able to actually purchase a complete second bag that's just going to sit in a cache and you may never need it. And that's understandable. Uh, for me personally, I like uh, to set up a less expensive uh, but still adequate kit that I can fall back on in the event that I'm, I lose or I'm liberated somehow. I think you can use your imagination to figure out ways that you could be liberated of all your gear and be left with nothing. Uh, but I like to have a alternate bug out bag cache set up so that I'm not down and out with nothing. Uh, granted, it's not, you know, it's not my primary. Uh, my primary has all the best gear that I can possibly afford in it. This one is less expensive, uh, but still gonna be quite adequate. So understanding that not everybody can afford a complete another bug out bag, you know, this is a great solution that I think you'll like as well. We partnered with Alan Stanford from Stanford Outdoor Supply. He makes some incredible kits that are inexpensive, but they're still adequate. They're still pretty durable. Uh, again, it's not gonna be my primary, but it is something that I'm comfortable with putting in a cache and setting aside, maybe never needing it. Uh, and then if I do need it, you know, it's always there. That's the key. So what I like about the boss kits, the bug out survival supplements, the boss kits is that these are set up in specific kits that are designed to provide for specific needs, which is the way that I teach, you know, survival and preparedness. So these fit really well into my system. Uh, an example is the Fire Boss Bug Out Survival Supplement. And this has everything you need. It's an additional fire kit. This particular one is a 33 piece. It's got a lot of natural tinder. It's got additional uh, ignition sources. And then you have other things that he thinks about putting in there. You know, you've got an extra cutting tool, which is not the best knife on the planet but you know and i hate to say it but it is much 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 better than nothing but you know again nothing should never be the bar we're trying to be above but this is well beyond that uh, these are adequate kits and there's a lot of extras in there so it's not just fire in there but that is the fire kit then you have a shelter kit which is going to be you know pretty adequate for for actually producing an actual usable shelter on the move you know you've got uh, an extra tarp in there, some zip ties, another little saw, and again, it's not a silky, but it's a saw. Um, and some stakes, some additional things in here, so you can actually make a shelter. You're not gonna be down to nothing and relying on primitive techniques. So that's your fire kit, your shelter kit. Then as far as water, you've got a complete water gathering kit, and this has got some water purification tablets in it, uh, container, uh, hoses, it's got a ways to carry and store water. So this is a great way and an inexpensive way to put together that alternate kit and be able to still get water. So that is for water. Then for food, you've got basically a fishing and hunting kit, really small, really packable. So that's a really good alternative to put in that alternate bug out bag. Uh, and this particular one is a land nav kit because you're still gonna be able to navigate. Uh, so it has protractors, compass, uh, pace speeds, you know, something to record information with. So it's a really good supplement to your kit. And then of course, if everything's in these little kits and it's in a cache, I don't necessarily want to traipse around, if, you know, carrying uh, the cache container with me. So you can get something very small, very packable. This is just a replacement, lightweight pack. It all folds up inside here. Everything fits inside it, fold it inside out, put everything in the bag. And now you have an easy way to carry your alternate bug out bag. So this would be an example of a complete alternate bug out bag 
that's inexpensive, durable enough, usable enough, and adequate enough that you could feel comfortable if you were down to just this and had to use it. Again, wouldn't be my primary, but that's what this bag is for. But it's definitely a great alternative. So those are the bug out survival supplements uh, that I think are, are definitely good things to invest in for you and your family. I'm made of sugar, as sugar melts in the water. If you don't believe it, then you never had Tang or Kool-Aid or 